Wow. Yeah! Hi, let's go. Woo. Last day in the office before we travel for the first time in two years. So excited. Two days of packing, preparing, and then we're off to Tasmania. So let's go. Wall of Fame. You wanna get on this? <laughs> <laughs> it for a little bit fast. Do you wanna be checked in? Half of the luggage. Are we ready to go to Tasmania? <laughs> <laughs> we had a fun night? We're living. Welcome to Hobart, the capital of Tasmania, which is the largest island in Australia and home to 500,000 people. Today we're going to share with you our experience staying at the Henry Jones Art Hotel, a very unique and fun place. Located right in the city centre by the harbour's waterfront, it boasts a huge variety of art located all across the hotel. As you enter you feel warm, cozy and artsy, just as you should expect from a hotel that has art in its name. Reception is in attendance 24-7 with free valet parking available to the guests. You can actually purchase a lot of art pieces around the hotel. You will see price tags on the paintings on the wall if you look closer. The exhibits are always rotated so it's always interesting to see what's new. There's a bar right behind the reception and we used it many times. And they deliver drinks to your room. And this is their courtyard, a beautiful place with a glass roof providing a lot of sunshine, space and warmth on a cold day. And this is our room, standard room, priced at four fifty a night. The room had a lot of space with nice furniture, but lacked sunlight. They definitely put in a lot of thought and effort into making this place look unique and memorable. The ceiling was an old rustic roof, which was quite nice. He also provided a free coat for us, which is a nice gesture. The only thing is our bathroom was a little out of place for the space, looking too modern. There wasn't any view and the sunlight was very limited in this room, constantly needing to turn the lights on. This was single-handedly the best part of our experience, or let's say one of the best, where we ordered good drinks straight out of the bar on arrival basically, and really nice food. Um, wagyu pasta, sandwich and plain pasta for Sakura. We thoroughly enjoyed that and had a good night's sleep. The next day after a sleep in, we decided to explore the hotel a little bit. It's definitely old, it's artsy, it's unique and you can see it everywhere. But it's definitely not a 5 star hotel. It was very good to see a modern elevator inside a century old building. Location of this hotel is simply superb, it doesn't get better than this. Based on our limited experience, we'd give it 4 out of 5, but of course there's more to come. It was a very nice service having your car in front of the door every time. Thank you so much. <laughs> like this door and you. Hey, look. And then we headed out to explore the city. Now we found this beautiful place called Pigeon Hole for breakfast. It was very nicely decorated. It had this very old rustic 
villagey kind of look and feel. The food and coffees were just outstanding. I'm pretty sure Nari said it was the best oats she's ever had. We then went to Willie's to get some baby stuff and some breakfast. Disappointingly, it's no different to any Brisbane Willie's. There's no penguins. After Sakura's nap and a bit of work, we decided to go for a walk to explore the waterfront and it is simply spectacular. Weather was really good, there are so many restaurants, a lot of them were actually on the water. This time we decided not to go to Mono, but we did find boats that take you there. I took this one many years ago. All good Salamanca Square. Just a lovely place. Never thought I'd see DJ Khaled in person, let alone filming his music videos. But here we are. And then we had this performance of the year. Yo, what the? I know you. <laughs> That's too, too many. That's uh, too good many. Vlog? <laughs> too many. You got a good vlog? I'm passing for it, so. <laughs> Another old fashioned? <laughs> Saki, <laughs> you're in good hands. <laughs> I can only say I'll never forget this. Drunken Admiral, a very famous place in Hobart, touristy, but nice, as a one-off, I'd probably give it 3 out of 5, so. It's actually pretty easy to sum up. Experience, very good. Food, average. On the third day of our trip, we did my most favorite thing in Hobart. We went to see Mount Wellington. It's still pitch dark and we're ready for a real adventure. <laughs> it's amazing. It simply doesn't need any commentary from here.
made it. So cold. So funny. This was actually a pretty special moment. Sakura saw snow for the first time, and we all together as a family saw snow for the first time. Look, can you get that? After an early start and Sakura's nap on the way back, we decided to get some breakfast. I remember this place from last time I was in Hobart and we decided to pay it a visit. And boy, it didn't disappoint. Just watch. And then we continued exploring the town. dinner but Sakura didn't feel well so I just went and got takeaway from the seafood restaurant and it was just incredible so good we decided to try hotel breakfast on day four and it was underwhelming we didn't come back Cafe Nairi founded online. Amazing restaurant with good food and good pickled and preserved vegetables. They also help unfortunately people who can't find jobs. Yeah, this is a good find. See, it's like the spontaneous find along the way. I also had a quick visit to local Tajay to make sure we stay trendy. Visited Cascade Brewery on the same day, famous beer in Australia. Nice place with average food. Day 
day five of our Hobart trip was all about cheese, wine and countryside. <laughs> the first place was Cold River Farm where they serve really nice cheeses. and I love their new friend, Gabriel. The last spot was winery for wine tasting, which we didn't do because Sakura didn't feel like that. But we did have delicious wood fire pizzas. For our last dinner we decided to keep it classy with some fish and chips and oysters to go and have them in our room. Last day in Hobart has many with fish and chips in her hands. And of course delicious fresh Tommy's Margaritas delivered to our room. This was a quick and dirty vlog of our stay at the Henry Jones Art Hotel in Hobart. We really enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed it too. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon.